Now that we have the paper mounted to the mat, we're ready to cut. Simply place the mat between the roller bar and the deck, pushing in until you feel resistance. While holding the mat between the roller bar and the deck, locate the load paper key in the lower right hand corner of the keypad. Press the load paper key to move the cutting mat and paper into the Cricut. With the paper loaded, you can now select characters for cutting. To select a character, simply press the desired key. The character selected will appear in the LCD screen above the keypad. To choose a character in the upper right hand corner of a key, press the shift key located in the lower left hand corner of the keypad. The shift key only has to be pressed once to activate. The shift lock key should be pressed if you want to continue to use a character in the upper right hand corner of a key. Use the space key located in the upper right hand corner of the keypad to add spaces between characters, just as you would use the space bar on a computer keyboard. The backspace key works just like deleting one character from the LCD screen each time it is pressed. The size dial on the front of the machine controls the size of characters to be cut. For example, if I wanted to cut the word cat in a 3 inch or 7.6 centimeter size, I would set the size dial to 3. The LCD screen would show that 3 inches has been selected. Then I would type cat on the keypad. The C-A-N-T in cat would be cut in proportion to the tallest letter in the alphabet. Only one sizing option can be selected for each cut. Not all phrases or shapes can be cut in all sizes. Stacked phrases like I love you and birthday blessings are automatically limited by the Cricut machine to a size that will fit on a 6x12 or 15.2 by 30.5 centimeter paper. The Cricut LCD screen will show a warning if the selected phrase or shape will not fit on the available paper size. With cat visible on the LCD screen, I push cut for the Cricut to begin cutting out the word cat. While the Cricut is cutting the words, Cricut is cutting will appear on the screen. Once the machine is done cutting, the cutting mat and paper can be removed from the machine. To remove the cutting mat from the machine, simply push the unload paper key located in the lower right hand corner of the keypad overlay. The paper and mat are removed from the machine. Removing the cut characters from the cutting mat is easy. Using the Cricut Blade tool, gently lift the cut characters from the cutting mat. Once you have removed the cut characters from the mat, use the Cricut Scraper to remove any remaining paper from the mat surface. Clean mats result in clean cuts. Now this is a good time to discuss the load last key. If I want to cut with this piece of paper again, I press it against the cutting mat and reinsert it into the Cricut machine. But instead of pressing the load paper key, I will press the load last key so the blade will begin cutting where it left off. The Cricut machine is now ready to cut. Now let's talk about some of the Cricut's most exciting features. Each Cricut cartridge has its own set of creative feature keys. Customers can refer to the handbook of any particular cartridge for detailed instructions about the cartridge's creative features. The creative feature keys are on the left side of the keypad overlay. When a feature is selected, the key will be backlit in green. To turn off a feature key, press the feature key a second time or press the reset key, or press a different feature key. Only one creative feature key can be selected for each cut. All font and shape cartridges contain the shadow feature, which creates a chunky version of the original font or shape. If I press the shadow key and enter the word cat, then I press cut. I can then press unload paper and remove the cuts from the cutting mat. Here we have cuts of the base image, and here we have cuts in the shadow feature. The shadow blackout feature is a solid version of the shadow feature. I put my paper back on the cutting mat, press load last, press the shadow blackout key, type the word cat, press cut, and then press the unload paper key when the Cricut machine is finished cutting. It's easy to see the differences between these cuts. This is only a tiny preview of what the Cricut machine can do. Now let's talk about some of the other advanced operations. The blade navigation buttons are arranged around the cut button. They allow you to move the blade up, down, left, or right to any desired place on your paper. 
Use the set paper size key when you are using paper that is smaller than 6 by 12. You will simply align the corner of the paper in the lower left corner of the cutting mat. Press load paper. Use the blade navigation buttons to align the blade with the upper right corner of the paper and then press the set paper size key. This will tell the Cricut machine where to begin cutting. You can then enter your project information. The paper saver key rearranges the letters you have selected to take up the least amount of space possible on your paper. This option stays activated unless you press it again or press reset all. If real dial size is selected, all letters, shapes, or phrases will be cut out according to the literal dial size rather than being cut out in proportion to the key height character. The Cricut machine can cut a wide variety of paper. For an optimal cut on lightweight paper such as vellum or heavy paper such as thick cardstock, you will need to adjust the blade depth. Locate the adjustment knob on the top of the cutting blade assembly and turn it to your desired setting from 1 to 6. The smaller the number, the shorter the blade depth. Shorter blade depths are recommended for lightweight papers and longer blade depths are recommended for heavyweight papers. Turning the adjustment knob to 1 pulls the blade up to keep it from tearing vellum or similar papers. Turning it all the way to 6 lengthens the blade and allows it to cut through thick paper like heavy cardstock. It might be a good idea to test the setting on a scrap piece of paper and make more adjustments if necessary. The speed dial also helps the Cricut machine adjust for optimal cuts on a wide range of papers. If you're cutting lightweight papers like vellum, or if your cuts involve a lot of detail, you will want a slower cutting speed. The pressure dial is the third adjustment you can make to the Cricut machine to customize its cutting abilities. The pressure dial allows you to control how hard the cutting mechanism presses against the paper. For lighter papers, turn the dial down or counterclockwise to decrease the cutting pressure. For heavier papers, move the dial up or clockwise to increase the cutting pressure. The pressure dial, in addition to the blade depth and the speed dial adjustments, will prevent lightweight papers from tearing and ensure that thick papers are cut all the way through.